Mounts, BBG Chapter 18, Sentence 5. Starts off with a post-positive day. So again, you know, you're going to run with but or and. Uh, you know, most of the time I tell you, if you don't have any more context than that, it's probably from a narrative, then it's probably best to translate it as and. Uh, then you know you have your subject with Ho Pilatus, which is pilot, of course. So, and pilot, again, pollen, you should know is again. Uh, he gives you the verb here, began asking, and then began asking who? Him, right? And began asking him tells you that this is accusative and should be. Uh, and that new should be your giveaway that that is an accusative singular. All right. So, and then he gives you saying, which is technically a present participle, um, but you don't know that yet. Uh, so, Pilate again began asking him saying, and then you have the contents, because here he gives you your quotation mark there, okay? Uh, and it's something that's negated as well, but what you notice is not only do you have a negation here with not, but you also have a, sort of a negative kind of thing here with uh, nothing. Now, hopefully you recognize this as nothing because just like you have, and, and the trick you need to know is if you've learned haste me a hen, then this instead of uh, one in the masculine, feminine, and neuter, you have udes, udemia, and uden. You know, just like haste me a hen, you've, you've basically tacked on that word for one at the end of the omicron, upsilon, delta. So split it here and just think about this and, and recognize that it's no one or no thing or, you know, that kind of thing. So in this case, because it's a neuter, and hopefully you recognize uden as haste me a hen, uh, which means that it's the neuter, uh, neuter ending, it's uh, no, no thing or nothing, okay? So, but the problem is you've got a negative, you've got not something, nothing. Uh, in English, that would be considered a double negative. So what you're going to do in that particular scenario, because it's already been negative, Greek, it's fine to do a double negative. And a lot of languages today, it's fine to do a double negative. It's not in English and have it mean the same thing. So what you do is you switch that nothing to anything. Uh, and that's the way you're going to play with uden in this particular instance because it's already, you know, it's already been negated. Okay. So then you come to the verb and hopefully you recognize that as uh, your, what you would have learned is apokrinomai. And as soon as you say apokrinomai, you know that it's a deponent verb because if that's what you learned as a lexical form, it's deponent. So knowing that, it's going to have a, a passive ending. Uh, but you're going to translate it actively. And in this case, that A with an e, uh, eta with the iota subscript, hopefully you remember, you know, my psi type, metha s n type, but you also know, hopefully, that the psi typically ends up looking like an eta with you know, an iota subscript. So that's what we have here. We have that second singular, and, you know, again, it's been negated, so it's you answer. But it's do you, because it's a question and it's been negated. You're going to say, do you not answer anything? Do you not answer anything? You know, and that's really it. So, uh, and Pilate again began asking him, saying, do you not answer anything? Because again, you can't have a double negative there.